boost kicks in. So the seller lied. <laughs> You need to realize that what can be done with, with these cars is pretty damn impressive. Ah, welcome back guys! I'm here in Sweden as usual, Malmö. It's cold, it's dark, but we are hopeful because today we are going ahead and moving in the next step towards creating the ultimate RS6 V10 wagon and today we're going to talk about power and the engine in the car. Is it actually ready for 750, 780 horsepower which is our goal? In order to know if that's the case we need to talk with a professional that's why I'm heading over to meet up with Eddie our tame engine tuner. Come along and see what he has to say. What do you think guys? The new license plate, Audi Sport license plate holder, really good looking uh, lights above the plate and here we go, main entrance, RS. She's not slow guys, but she will be a lot faster, a lot faster when we're done with her. Today, as I said, we're meeting up with Eddie and I must say it's quite fitting that we the last couple of weeks have had not one but two major YouTubers doing content on the RS6 V10. First up we had uh, Misha Gordan, uh, or uh, sorry Misha, I don't know how to pronounce your last name. Uh, he, he's done a Nürburgring lap with a 780 horsepower R6 V10 and uh, yeah, this 2.1 ton car is not made for the Nürburgring but still the power the car has, it's pretty insane. Even more spectacular was actually the reactions from Autotop NL when they did their classic point of view video with uh, also a 780 horsepower R6 V10 and they were pretty damn impressed and uh, I remember you screaming I want one I need one so yeah and these guys have driven some seriously fast cars so you need to realize that what can be done with with these cars is pretty damn impressive go watch those videos guys then you realize what we're aiming for and uh, hopefully we'll be back uh, with the car similar to those but now Let's pick up Eddie and uh, take a look and see if this car is ready for 780 horsepower. Okay guys, I wonder where he is. Is that Eddie? The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> He's so jaded. Hello. Hello. Welcome, Eddie. Thank you, sir. How are you? I'm good. I'm long good. time no see. Really long time no see. And but now, here. Exactly. But here. And now we're here. And you have been amazed by my new light I've installation. I've been blended. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Blended. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is perfect, guys, for actually doing content like this when it's dark. Mm. So now we have good white lighting. To be brutally honest, Eddie jumped in the car and said, it's loud. And then <laughs> he trailed a bit with his answer and I was like, yeah, I know. It's more that it sounds a lot than it sounds good. <laughs> But exactly. When, guys, right. you've seen the exhaust. If you haven't, go check this video because the exhaust 
it's it's honestly impressive that it sounds as good as it does uh, when you look at it. <laughs> but we're gonna fix that as well. Stay tuned. But now let's uh, check the car. Okay, guys, we've been driving around here for a couple of minutes now, and we haven't even left the parking parking lot. This is a maze. Let's get out of here. Onto bigger roads, Eddie. Onto bigger roads. Faster legal roads in Mexico. Ex exactly, Mexico or the German Autobahn. We're, we're a bit closer to the Autobahn. Ah, now we can start to see the light. You Have you done anything? We checked the uh, DTCs on the transmission. Um, none. So that's good. None. So, and DTCs is? Diagnostic trouble codes. Exactly. Old codes. Fa fancy, fancy term for is there anything wrong with the <laughs> gearbox? <laughs> If we should uh, just in like very short, uh, a short explanation, what is doing a log? In because now today we're going to see, does it run well? Correct. Is it healthy? Right. Should we tune it as it is, or do we need to do something physical with the engine before? Right. That's so right. we're going to log, um, see, not timing pull basically, ignition, see if it's stuck, uh, boost, look at the values, yep. see if those are stuck. Um, we do some measuring of uh, lambda to see fueling system is up to pair. Okay, now we're going out. Okay, so we've done some test pulls here and Eddie's first uh, exp first hand experience is he's, he doesn't think it's tuned. And uh, I tend to agree, but uh, we'll do some more, we'll do some logs and see how it looks in the logs. Give it a second. Yeah, hit it. the turbos kick in Then I stock. Got it up about now. Okay, it is said it's stock. It is stock. It is stock. Yeah. So, the seller lied <laughs> <laughs> or wasn't <laughs> in the loop on things. So, surprise surprise guys, we need to refuel. We've done a couple of pulls and we have some left and then we're gonna check one. the logs. One, one more. One more and yeah. then we're gonna check the log. Do it. Let's go! Boost kicks in! <laughs> I'm glad we're not doing this in fourth gear, man. Me too. <laughs> Good girl. Checking the logs. He's working his magic. Uh, well, today he's just checking how magic, how much magic we have under the hood. Very stock magic. Very, <laughs> very stock magic. <laughs> yeah. We are done. All the logs have been uh, checked. Me and Eddie have been sitting here going through everything, and we have some really interesting information. First one. We, uh, I had a question, and maybe you as well, that's watching. Is the car actually stock? It is very stock. <laughs> it's very stock. Yeah. So yeah, uh, the numbers we got from Draghi, um, in the end, it wasn't tuned. Uh, we had the feeling of that it wasn't. Uh, maybe I was hoping uh, the seller said it was tuned, but it obviously isn't. Uh, you checked fuel system, ignition, knock. Everything looks good and healthy. It does. And stock. <laughs> Completely stock. stock. So the, the good news is that we have a lot more power to gain. And stock means 580 horsepower according to Audi. 650 Newton meter of torque. And if we look, we actually have here uh, the dyno chart from uh, the Count uh, RS6, my business partner's daily driver that we did a video about a couple of months ago. We have that as a 700 brake horsepower, or 700 horsepower R6. In the dyno shot we have here, it's uh, that Eddie has saved, it's actually 650. Uh, but as you said, it depends on which standard you use. And this is the thing, guys. It's a numbers game and the numbers differ from dyno to dyno. And all we know is that the Count's R6 is really fast. So I would say like this, stage one, 650 or 700 ish depending on uh, what uh, calculations and uh, measurements you you go by 
900 plus uh, torque. Correct. If this car, once again, the seller said that it had downpipes done, mm. what would we be able to do if that's the case? Would it be able to do a stage two maybe? Yeah, sure. And then we're up to 700? Ish. Yeah, ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So about yeah. 50 more yeah. horsepower. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> that would be awesome, guys. So all, all good news, to be honest. It's stock. It's healthy. That's the most important part. It's ready to be tuned. So guys, stay tuned to the channel uh, where we are building the Ultimate RSX V10. And uh, yeah, tuning is to come. <laughs>